Hey you guys, it's Gina Moustakis here from The Learning Edge with another tip. Today we're going to be talking about a specific type of counting problem called NCI problems. There are four main types of counting problems that you may encounter on the SAT. Arrangement, Combination, Venn Diagram, and NCR. Today's topic NCR is actually a combinations formula that allows us to calculate the total number of smaller groups of things or people or whatever that can be made from larger groups of things or people or monkeys or whatever. The formula looks something like this. NCR equals number to choose from factorial over number chosen factorial times the number left out factorial. Now, it's important to remember that the exclamation marks that you see in the formula are not the kind of exclamation marks that you see in English. They don't mean the same thing. Believe me, when I was first looking at this equation, oh my god. I mean, people thought I had some form of mathematical Tourette's. It was crazy. So when you see something like this, it does not mean the following. Five! So lesson learned. The um, exclamation point that you see in the formula actually means factorial. So what do I mean by that? Let's take a look. So 5 factorial actually equals 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which equals 120. Oh no! So uh, here's a sample problem so you can see how to use the formula and test day. George's Cub Scout troop consists of 14 members. Five members of the troop are to be chosen to go on the annual wilderness camper adventure. How many different groups of five could be selected from George's troop? There are 14 kids in the troop, so there are 14 to choose from. Five are selected to go on the wilderness camper adventure. Then 14 minus five equals nine are left out. NCR equals, all right, here we go. NCR equals 14 factorial over 5 factorial, 9 factorial. Quite a bit cancels out, and you are left with 2,002 possible groups of 5 that you could select from a troop of 14 kids. That would give us choice D. Alright, moving on now, and it's time for our second example. There are 12 students in the chess club. The club is going to subdivide into smaller groups of three for its practice sessions. How many different groups of three are possible? If you have already figured this out in like five milliseconds, I am super impressed. Otherwise, feel free to pause the video. Let's take a look. You will want to use the NCR formula here. How do we do it? Our formula is going to look something like this. NCR equals 12 factorial, which is the number of members in the club, 3 factorial, the number chosen, times 9 factorial, the number left out. What we see here is that I've factorialed it out and left the 9 factorial to cancel. What we are left with is 1320 divided by 6 equals 220. Once again, choice D rules. D-Day! Okay, let's do one last problem. Gina is going to the Hamptons for a week and wants to bring a different pair of shoes for each day that she is there. If she has 13 pairs of shoes to choose from, how many different combinations of shoes could she bring with her to the Hamptons? I'm sorry, but this is my personal montage on how this question makes me feel. I mean, is this some sort of prisoner's camp? Why would she only have one pair of shoes for each day? <sighs> I'm sorry, I digress. But our job on test day is not to judge the realism of a question even when one is as outrageous and disturbing as this one. Our job is to figure out the correct answer and here's what you do. Alright, as I have already lamented, Gina only has 13 shoes to choose from and she needs one each day of the week so she has 7 that she's choosing, which means that 6 are left out. So if we go ahead and factorial the top and bottom out, we are going to leave the 6 factorial intact at the top and the 6 factorial intact at the bottom. These two are going to cross out, as well as a lot more, like the 5, the 2, the 10, the 4, the 3, and the 12, and the 7, and the 7. We are going to be left with 13 times 11 times 9 times 8 over 6 times 1. 
That gives us 10,926 over 6, which equals 1,716, or choice C. Well, that's all there is to it. It's really not that hard. You've learned all the secrets to uh, solving NCR counting problems on the SAT test. I will show you how to do the other ones some other time. Not enough time today, but tune in next time for another awesome SAT tip from yours truly, Gina Moustakis.